Yo, who's all the girls taking that there? Now listen, now we had this rap artist out of Chicago named Lil Wap, who's 27 years old, who recently came out and fully announced that he's transgender and is going to transition it as we speak. In this video, we speak on figuring out if Lil Wap recent revealing had any influence by another artist by the name of Young Thug, a 31-year-old rapper out of Atlanta, whom at this very second is fighting a RICO case in the state of Georgia. We also want to figure out the difference of public opinion on these two individuals. To speak a little on Young Thug, at the height of his career, around 2015, Thug displayed a lot of what we call now transitioning antics to the public that had a lot of people questioning his sexual preference. From painting his fingernails and wearing explicit women attire to wearing what looks like a female wedding dress on front of one of his successful album covers, to add to that, Thug expressed himself in calling his friends Bay and Hubby how he would marry his best friend and how he would get breast implants if he ever had to do a long prison sentence to place inside a woman's prison. Now, statements like this is what sparks curiosity because on one hand, he would display a lot of feminine traits, but also express only being mentally and sexually attracted to women. Another aspect of Thug was that, for a fact, he was a gangster out in these streets that no one would dare disrespect or challenge his sexuality because although he expressed himself like this to the public and through the music industry, those out in the streets knew this was all antics used to further his career in the music industry. Now through that, we're trying to figure out if antics like this birthed rappers like Little Wop to come out the closet and express themselves in ways surpassing the image Thug was trying to portray. In 2015, Young Thug was 23 years old, making Lil Wop 19 years old, easily at a time where he can be influenced by Young Thug. The following year, 2016, Lil Wop began his career in the entertainment industry. The following year after that, 2017, the CEO and rapper Gucci Man signed WAP to his record label 1017, and WAP has since gone on to release a number of successful projects throughout the years. Last year, 2022, Little Watt revealed he was no longer signed to 1017. He dissed Gucci Man and revealed that he was bisexual. As of recently, WAP has announced he's transgender and transitioning into a woman. Now, in my opinion, they both started out as gangster rappers, drill rappers, whatever you want to call it. Neither one of them dressed feminine or displayed their feminine traits at the start of their career. Don't know if they became comfortable around the environment in the industry or started doing all of this to fit inside a society that welcomes it. But one thing for sure, the recent appearances of Little Wop doesn't seem any different from what they seen and got from Young Thug for years. Like I stated, Lil Wop have surpassed Young Thug antics because he's actually going through with transitioning into a woman. But how is this different from Young Thug is that Young Thug hinted that he was using antics to please an industry he wanted to achieve in. Some may say he just wasn't brave enough to come out and be himself like Lil Wop did. Others have pinned Young Thug street rap as a way that overshadowed his antics because even though he dressed as he dressed and said all kinds of questionable things, rarely none of his rap pairs seemed to be bothered by his feminine traits. As he hung out with a lot of them, continued to do great music with them, and got the respect from a lot of the other guys in the streets. This seemed to have birthed other rappers to express themselves in similar ways, such as rapper by the name of King from Louisiana, and even rap star Lil Uzi Vert, to start tapping into their feminine traits, expressing it through their music. Young Thug antics kind of reminded people of Omar from the hit show The Wire and how he groomed his boys through the streets. Young Thug made a mark in the streets that gave him the respect he needed to survive in the rap game and possibly made people become comfortable with it but still look at him as a man. In the same sense, he created a lane for others to come through and express themselves in the same manner and be successful. This could have also possibly gotten so accustomed to that now has allowed Little Wop to go full transitioning and maybe even have a bigger career. Without Young Thug street rap helping push his antics into the music industry and getting acceptance from the streets, his antics would have possibly failed. Maybe just maybe, Young Thug made it possible for the LGBTQ to finally be accepted in the rap game. And that's our give and take. Like, comment, subscribe.